Manatees, along with dugongs, form a very large and very ancient order known as Serenia. This video will be dedicated to the manatees, of which there are three living species, all a part of the family Trichecidae. This video will be dedicated to the manatees, of which there are three living species, all a part of the family Trichecidae. This video will be dedicated to the manatees, of which there are three living species, all a part of the family. Though from a distance, manatees and dugongs both look very similar, and yes, they do share a common ancestor, the two are still very different animals. Manatees are slightly larger, and they tend to live in larger groups, almost always in freshwater. Manatees also have a more disc-shaped tail, as opposed to the more whale-like tail of the dugong. This always helps me separate them. There's also the geographical distribution. Dugongs have a very wide range, and they do not live in the Atlantic Ocean. And while manatees also have a pretty large range, this distribution is shared by three fully distinct species. Trichecidae first appeared roughly 34 million years ago in the very late Eocene Epoch, making the family much younger than Dugongidae. Myocyrinidae was the very first subfamily to appear, with the genus Anomatherium, containing just one species, Anomatherium langueschi. Anomatherium lived in the Oligocene Epoch 34 to 23 million years ago in northern Germany, and this species shared very similar dietary habits to its descendant, which I'll talk about in just one second. Anomatherium, along with occasionally feeding on mollusks, also would have fed upon sea grasses in the shallow sea beds of where it lived. Myocyrinidae contain just one other genus, Myocyrin, which dates to the early Miocene epoch. Myocyrinidae contain just one other genus, Myocyrin. Two species of Myocyrin have been described, N. kanami and N. Kokki. Two species of my Both species of Cyrenian lived in Europe, one in England and another in Belgium and it would have very closely resembled a nomotherium, as it was likely the direct descendant. The only other subfamily within Trichecidae is known as Trichecinae. This subfamily's very first species was Podomosiron magdalensis, which lived from 13.8 to 11.8 million years ago in the Middle Miocene Epoch. Podomosiron magdalensis was discovered in modern-day Colombia, and it would have very closely resembled a modern-day manatee, being a direct ancestor. The only other entirely extinct genre known is Ribodon, containing one species, Ribodon limbatus. Ribodon limbatus lived in the Miocene Epoch 11.61 to 7.25 million years ago. This one species spread far and wide, living all across South America, from Argentina to Brazil to Venezuela in the north. The supernumerary molars of the species would have been replaced throughout its lifetime, indicating this species fed on abrasive plant material. Modern manatees, a part of the genus Trichecus, appeared 2.5 million years ago. The genus contains one extinct species, one disputed species, and three recognised living species. The African manatee, Trichecus senegalensis, is by far the most basal living species in the genus Trichecus. The African manatee, Trichecus, Trichecus senegalensis, or the African manatee, can be found all across the west coast of Africa, throughout various marshland systems and other freshwater environments. This species is also omnivorous, with more coastal populations feeding on more than 50% non-plant material, including mollusks and fish while more inland populations are primarily herbivorous. The species is also the smallest living Serenian recognised, with a maximum weight of about 360 kilograms and a maximum length of about 4.5 metres or 15 feet long. The only predators of the African manatee are humans, for quite obvious reasons, and the relatively small crocodilian, the West African crocodile, the only other two recognised living species of Trichecus are more closely related to each other than they are to the African manatee. The only other two recognised...
Trichecca cinguina, or the Amazonian manatee, can be found in the Amazonian River Basin, ranging in Ecuador, Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, and parts of Bolivia and Colombia. This species can weigh up to 379 kilograms or 836 pounds, with a maximum length of 266 centimetres or 8 feet 8.7 inches. The Amazonian manatee has a pretty wide-ranging diet, including water hecants, bladder warts, horn warts, and water lilies. This species relies on changes in the peripheral circulation for the primary mechanisms in thermoregulation, and it also relies on fresh water, as there aren't any populations living in salt water, unlike the African manatee and the final species I'll mention. The West Indian manatee, Trichecus manatus, has a very wide range on the eastern coast of South and Central America, all across the Caribbean, and even on the eastern coast of the United States. The West Indian manatee is the largest species of Cyrenian, growing to a length of 4.6 metres or 15 feet long, weighing up to 1,655 kilograms or 3,649 pounds. The West Indian manatee also has the second longest life expectancy of any Serenian, with most living to around 50 years old, and one individual named Snooty lived for 69 years, from 1948 to 2017. West Indian manatees have a prehensile snout similar to their relatives, which are the elephants. And yes, I have a video coming up about that. They use this prehensile snout for a similar purpose in order to grab vegetation and bring it into their mouth. The species' large size and low metabolic rate leads to them being able to hold their breath for a long period of time, with one captive individual managing to hold it for up to 14 minutes. American alligators and American crocodiles are the main suspects when it comes to predation on dead manatees, along with tiger and bull sharks. American alligators... The only known extinct species in the genus Trichecus is Trichecus hesperamazonicus, also known as the West Amazonian manatee, which lived 40,000 years ago in the Madaria River in Brazil. A final species, and likely an invalid species, is Trichecus pygmaeus, or the pygmy manatee. The pygmy manatee is believed to widely be invalid sharing many morphological similarities with the Amazonian manatee, aside from its smaller size, which can probably be narrowed down to it being immature. Also, mitochondrial DNA analysis from 2015 reveals that this animal is probably the same creature, as there is no difference in its genomic data. Unfortunately, all living members of Trichecus are listed as vulnerable, with human predation, water pollution and habitat loss being the main factors in their decline. Let us hope that we can preserve all three recognised living species of Trichecus to remain as long as possible into the future, as it would be a tragedy if any one of these animals were to go extinct. Next episode, I will be discussing the taxonomy of very early genre of Cyrenians, as well as their overall placement in the mammalian family tree. I'll see you then. Bye.